Hi guys, I'm back with another YouTube video. Today I'm going to teach you how to make Pokemon cards. And you might be like, why are you on the computer looking at stuff? Are you going to look at it to do some art? No. We're first going to do one way, then another way. So, you have to search up fake Pokemon cards with as much as you want. I search up fake. You can search up rares and then get a free rare card for no money. That's what I was trying to do. And guys, you might see that that one was a fake one. I printed it out. I had to print that out so many times. But, so, to print it out, you have to click on the one you like. It doesn't matter how much it costs to me. Don't even read that. Right click it, say save image as, name it whatever you want, I'm going to name it. One, two. Save. And then it should pop up right there. You want to save it in desktop, then it pops up here. You can see it. But you're going to be like, when I print it out, it's going to show his hand. You can cut it. How hard is that to cut? Um, so, you will go up, click files. By the way, this is for a Mac Mini. Or um, the computer I'm using is Samsung. And like, the thing under here is the Mac Mini, which is plugged into this computer. And you go all the way down to print. To make sure you're printing this, you can look at the picture to see if there's any other things. I don't use letter. You can go on there, manage custom sizes. A 6.3 inches height, 8.8 .8 inches, and then top three, top three inches. Um, and click OK. That's going to be the one you might want to use because it's going to be that big, and the Pokemon card will be that size as well. And I will go get paper to put in my printer. It doesn't matter what printer you're using, but I like to use Canon, the Canon Pro 300 series. That's the one I use. I don't. It, it still works if you don't use that one. I just like the Canon because it makes the paper thicker like an actual Pokemon card. So... I'm going to put my paper into the printer. And now let's go back to the computer and click print. I'm going to check if it's printing. Yes, yeah, not for long. I might need to click print again because it was not turned on. to use a printer and not take that much work. The second way, you might want to use a printer. It doesn't matter if you do or not. But let's go. And when that's done printing, we're going to check on that later when it's done printing. So first, I'm going to grab the piece of paper. This piece of paper. And let's go. So this other way, you could use the printer if you want to, you don't have to use the printer in this form. But for this way, you can get a Pokemon card and trace out a Pokemon card. So, I will just find, um, I'm going to make mine the actual size of a Gigantamax. So I'm going to put that down and trace it. I hope this pen actually is a working pen. If this is not, I'm going to be mad. You might, most people use pencils because those are easier to use for that. They might grab completely wrong people. Um, you 
you guys can use whatever you want to draw. But first, let's, so you want to trace out your small one, your Gigantamax, whatever one you're using. Trace that Pokemon card out. And then when you're done tracing it, which I am not, you can draw what you like. You can draw your Pokemon. Okay, so. So, this is about the size of a Gigantamax. So, I'm going to check if my thing's done printing. Okay, so my rapid strike didn't work because it got the hand in, but like this picture itself is technically considered a Pokemon card, including the hand. But we don't want that to happen, so I might have to go to a different website. You can search up whatever you want after fake Pokemon. Some people search fake Pokemon, Minecraft, fake Pokemon, that, fake Pokemon, that, so fake Pokemon, that. So you can technically use whatever you want when you say fake Pokemon. I am gonna scroll down to look at an actual size, just the Pokemon card. Oh my God. That's the most powerful one I've seen now, so fake. So I'm gonna go for, no. So, a card, fake Pokemon card. So let's keep scrolling down. I think I found one I might wanna use. I'm gonna use this one. Default settings, Canon Pro, US letter, all oh, yes, 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 print, yes, yes, print, print it, print it, yeah, print, printy, print. I must print it, so can I print, print, print. Paper and okay, since I messed up and I accidentally said print two times, it's a printing another one of the one I didn't want to use, but that's okay right now. We'll keep drawing. So after you draw that, I would consider drawing what kind of Pokemon it is. The star, whatever you like. I would go for star, because that's the easiest to draw. So I'm gonna go for a star Pokemon. So. Guys, I drew my star. Then you can write just HP, how much health he has. And then I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do it. Draw your Pokemon. I'm going to draw like a stick man. I'm naming him stick man. I'm not saying what he is. Stick man. And then it's just going to be a giant stick man. Because I'm trying to go fast. I'm just trying to teach him. So you add the name. Add the picture. If it's a Gigantamax, you write Gigantamax. And what it evolves from. VMAX, tag team, whatever you like. And after you draw all that information, you go on to how much damage he does. So I'm just in how in all, how much of these. So I'm just gonna write something. It's gonna be called death. And then 
he's gonna do about like 300 damage. Yeah. And then it's gonna have like one, two, three, four. I'm not gonna draw four stars, but like this is what it should look like. I'm going fast. Take your time. So after you do that, you can draw a little thing under it of what it does. And then you have to draw what it's resistant from. Weakness, resistance, when it should retreat, and like its rule. And then you can do like something down here and that to make it look real. And then after that, you can draw your Pokemon. So that's how you make Pokemon. We're going to do the actual print so I can get tons of Pokemon to see if it works. So, guys, we're going to make another one. And you guys, I. And that's how you make your own Pokemon card. It doesn't matter what paper you use. And also, to finish it, you can print. Um, but back of Pokemon card with a print. But like, if you guys, as I say, if you don't have a printer, you can use like nail polish remover, rub it on a Pokemon card you don't care about, and then paint the front of the card you like. Or you can just draw it on a piece of paper, then like take off the back of the Pokemon cards, like rip the back of this off and then put it on as well. That's also an option. But I'm here with printer, so I was just going to you know, show you some ways you could do it with the printer. But let's print this to see how this, how my cards will look. By the way, you're not, so when it's done printing, you're going to see every single individual card. The 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, yeah, the nine cards. By the way, don't try to read how much health they have. They're written, they're Japanese cards. But I know how to use them because I just need to look at the stuff and how much damage he does. And just look at the animals. Thing. And everything else we technically don't care about because I know regular rules for regular Pokemon cards, tag teams, Vs, um, Vmax. So, yeah. So... I'm going to check if it's Okay, so it's coming out. So now the thing's coming out. I can show you some of my other cards besides this one. I will go get them. Also, this V Star one. I got this one yesterday. These two, two days ago. And I'll be like, hey, I saw the morning one either. Why are you getting another one? Oh, because it's my two. And this is my homemade one. That is not my homemade one. This is my homemade one that I drew yesterday because I didn't make it in the video so I had more time. And also, I'll open this up so I can show you. My so let's start showing you all of the cards. So this one, which is a print. This one. Not all these other ones aren't prints, I'm promising you. Except for the ones I just showed you. But the actual size of a Gigantamax are not prints. This one I have. This one. By the way, all of these are meaningful to me. This one. 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 Zeus one. Hey, you have giant one that I know that, but the giant one's a V star. This one. V stars are different than the actual regular, because the regular only has 210 HP, but my V star has 270, because the V, it's a, it's a V, it's a V, but star, so it has more value to it. I'm 
I'm going to check if my things are done. And you guys might not be able to. Well, I want to show you that one badly. I have the big one if you're bad. I'm going to check if my things are done for today. There was no Tons of Pokemon arrows. So, for my cards, one I can't take them out for some reason. But we're okay with guys you can just print out whatever you want but that's how you make your own pokemon cards but it's time to say bye like subscribe subscribe and it's time to go out